Elko in the Community is sponsored by Scandinavian Designs. Modern style for every budget. All right, guys, I want to keep talking about the dog days of summer, those hot dog days right now, of course, here in Colorado. And that's why we are joined by jo Joan Thielen. Joan, it's so great to see Thank you. Thank you. Of course, and of course, we have Bucky here yes. with us, too. We've been playing with him all day. Uh, Bucky likes my shoes, and it's <laughs> totally fine. Bucky can do whatever he wants. Tell us a little bit about Bucky. He's such a great dog. Yeah, he's only eight months old, so he's got a lot of growing left to do. Yeah. But he's a really good boy. He came to the shelter as a stray, so we don't have a lot of information about him but he is just really nice he is kenneled with another dog at the shelter another small dog and he did great on the leash here great in the car on the way over and has just made a lot of friends yeah oh morning. my goodness he really has it's it's great because he came in he was a little shy at first yep. but he has really grown to love everybody here once yep. he realized everyone was here to love him and pet him and give him snuggles he was all about it yep. I love that so I want to talk about the dog days of summer. It gets hot and especially lately we've been getting into the 90s. We talk often about you know the things that we need to look out for but I want to talk about how to keep our dogs cool. I'm a big advocate of just kind of dumping water on schnapps when we're out on the trails and stuff but I hear there's kind of more to it. Yeah, so dogs actually cool themselves by panting, so they don't sweat except for from the pads of their feet. So um, while that might cool them down initially, it's really better if you can, you know, cool them in kind of like their little armpit areas, the groin area there, offer them some fresh cold water, have them in the shade, um, just to cool them down a little bit easier because if they're panting in hot air, it's difficult for them to cool their bodies. Got it. I'm also always concerned too about hot pavement, and I never know whether or not it's too hot to bring my dog out. So how can can we tell? Yeah, if you put your hand on the pavement for five to 10 seconds and it's burning the palm of your hand, it's probably going to burn your dog, the pads of your dog's feet too. And just keep an eye on them. If you notice them kind of like tippy tappy dancing on the ground, then um, it's probably too hot. And it's, you know, if it's gonna be over 90 degrees, sometimes it's best just to leave them at home, especially if you're going to like a farmer's market or something that's gonna be on asphalt that can get especially hot pretty quickly. Okay, and I'm, you know, right now we're at 88 degrees Mm -hmm. out here and obviously we're in the shade but even just yeah. you know, touching the ground yep. right now it's nice and cool so we know that it's okay for Bucky to be dead. Yep. Yeah Bucky you <laughs> he's like you're talking about me. I want to talk to about um, ways to tell uh, if our dogs are getting too hot you know heat exhaustion all of that. Um, I know on a day like today like I said it's 88 so right now in the shade it feels nice but when we get out in the sun of course it gets hotter. How can we tell if our dogs are uncomfortable? Yeah so excessive panting if they're panting really heavily um, um, lethargy, so if you know they're laying down, they're not wanting to be active. And when it gets really severe, they may start foaming at the mouth, which is a sign that they need to be cooled or taken to a cool place immediately. But just keep an eye on your dog. And again, if it's going to be really hot, I know in Colorado we love taking our pets with us everywhere, yeah. but sometimes it's just best to leave them at home. Sure. Well, especially yep. when you have a, a small portable dog like yeah. Bucky here, you got to take him everywhere with you. Uh, if it does get to that point where, you know, oh, yeah, you want my script? Yeah, you can have it. Um, where they're just getting too hot and it's a little too much, what do we do with that? that point? Uh, take them to a veterinarian immediately if you're worried for their, their health and their safety um, or get them indoors somewhere with air conditioning where they can be cool. Like we talked about, you can put like a cold damp cloth in their armpit or groin area okay. to help cool them down, give them cold water, yes. um, just help them kind of bring their temperature back down a little bit. Okay. And we talk about it every year, but I, I really want to stress this, you know, dogs and hot cars. This is something that we, mm -hmm. of course, want to keep an eye out for and make sure, of course, that we're not doing. But if we do see a dog in a car, uh -huh. windows are up, it's kind of blistering out there, what do we do? Call animal control or call the police right away and let them know. It can be fatal for dogs. A car on a 70 degree day can reach over 100 degrees in less than 10 minutes. So it's really important. And in you know, an hour, it can be upwards of 140 degrees. And that can be fatal to them. So it's really important to make sure you notify authorities. Um, and you know, just check with them, see what they suggest doing. Uh, you can break a window in Colorado, but you do need to contact the authorities first. first. Okay. So make sure you do that. If you're in a store, go and let the store management know that ahead of time okay. and um, try to see if you can find that pet owner even with the air conditioning on, it can still be fatal for them. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. All right, well, before I let you go, Joan, uh, what are you guys having coming up at Foothills? You guys have some awesome stuff. Yeah, so we're really excited to share about our new hoppy hours. So we have a series of brewery hoppy hours where the breweries 
are donating a portion back. Um, right now we have Green Mountain tonight from 3 to 6 p.m. Come on by, grab a beer, support homeless animals, and just have a good time. Love that. I love that so much. All right, guys, thank you so, so much, Joan and Bucky. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> he needs a home, guys. Find him a home. All right, everybody, for more helpful tips or to adopt a dog like Bucky or to adopt Bucky, my goodness, he's so sweet, visit foothillsanimalshelter.org.